Hi there, Angela. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. It's good to see you. This is Brooke in Denver, and, and we're so glad. It's a pleasure to talk with you today. Well, it's great to see you and to hear from you. You've already won four Tonys. What would a fifth one mean to you at this point? Well, it would be, you know, the icing on the cake, but uh, I don't have any illusions about winning. I, I'm so happy just to be out there and to have been nominated with an incredible bunch of women. Tony Knight is going to be really something this year. We've got some tremendous performances and great musicals and straight plays that have been nominated, and uh, at least going to be a great night in the theater. So many people get their start on the stage, but there's a real trend toward movie actors going to the stage to sort of test their acting chops, I suppose. Do you think that's what it is, and, and is it a true test? Well, yes, I, I, in, in many respects I think it is, not necessarily the definitive test of an actor's skills as a, as a performer, but certainly it, it gives you a sense of playing with a live audience, which is, you know, is a very rare and lovely uh, event for an actor, and if you've never done it, you should try it, because it's heady stuff, and I'm in loving being induced at the moment on Broadway, because I love that connection with a live audience, and that's, you know, you don't get that on television. Do sounds very good and very funny. Uh, tell us a little bit about your character in, in the play. Well, she's an incredibly feisty and tough broad, really, and I, I just love her. She's a marvelous character. She was a great, great tennis player with her partner, who is a, a very distinguished actress, Marion Seldes. And the two of us play the, the greatest doubles tennis partners in the world. They won all of the Grand Slams back in the 1960s, the 1950s, and they, they were superb tennis players. And we talk, what we talk about in the play is how their lives have evolved from the time that they were famous tennis players into being retired ladies of a certain age. They're both in their 70s and they are dealing with the problems of age and of also recovering from being the greatest to being just women, you know, living and dealing, dealing with their looks fading and all of those things that women in every walk of life deal with. So it, it touches a lot of uh, interesting uh, subjects for women. And it, it also talks about the invisibility of older women, how women become invisible as they grow older. People don't take any notice of them. They see through them. They pass them, but they don't really register with them. And these things we talk about with great humor and uh, great kind of understanding finally. So the, the play has a tremendous amount. It's written by the great playwright Terence McNally, and it's, it's a super play. It's an excellent theme. How has it been received? Uh, extremely well. Extremely well by audiences. Um, it, 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 uh, it, it absolutely rings bells for people, right, left, and center, and for men, too. So it's got something for everyone, as we say. It really, really does. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very thoughtful play, but it has a huge amount of humor. It's very, very funny. It's got some great stuff in it. And do you play tennis? I do. <laughs> I mm -hmm. thought maybe you did. I thought maybe you did. Yeah. You've done so much in your career, and you're still going so strong. What is your favorite um, venue? Do you, do you enjoy um, being on stage or film or television the most? Well, truthfully, I just love acting. Uh, I love the live theater, but I've adored doing movies, and I had some wonderful years with television. And uh, each one requires just a little different set of skills. And uh, if you're a, a, a working actor, you learn what those skills have to be. And, uh, you know, you, you adapt to what you're doing. And uh, I love the theater. I have to say that. And this a chance to come back to the live theater. has been one of the great moments in my career, and I'm very, very grateful for it. Well, we're so looking forward to Tony Night, absolutely. And it's great to see you and great to hear about this recent success, and you look terrific. Thank you so much. Lovely being with you. Have a great day, Angela. Thanks. Bye.